I do hope that the lives of the people won't change because uh, we demanded from the president that he or the authorities that will be uh, that will be implementing the law that was voted in the parliament and adopted by the president will uh, will not harm the limitation of uh, basic uh, principles of of people. So the president publicly uh, promised to all the members of parliament, basically to all of the nation, that he won't use this limitation uh, on and he won't use them only in case of uh, direct Russian aggression. So we do hope that the life of the people won't change. Right. So I think I have a, like a follow-up question. Uh, Yulia Tymoshenko, speaking at the parliament uh, yesterday, said that she supports the law in principle, but she uh, directly opposed um, the fact that it can potentially limit citizens' rights, which was before said by Alexander Trichinov. Uh, so why did the entire party, uh, including you, vote for the law at the end? Basically, uh, almost three of our uh, proposition was uh, supported by the president and by the parliament. First, not 60, but 30 days. Second, limitation only into some areas that are directly involved or probably could be involved into the accident. And third, which were partly uh, implemented, that president promised not to not to promise to limit the freedom of people only if there is a direct Russian threat or direct Russian aggression. So we find this as a proper compromise to show the unity. Uh, internally and externally for our foreign partners uh, as a result of the Russian aggression in the incident in the Azov Sea with our sailors who are now in jail, wounded, and with our ships that have been captured. So we need to show the unity inside the country to stop Russian aggression. And this is why uh, we decided to vote. We have a very uh, big, uh, wide uh, network of our party organization and we will be monitoring all the possible uh, limitations of freedom of people and I hope that our monitor will show zero uh, cases of, of this but as, uh, as it was requested from the parliament in the case of a further destabilization into the Azov Sea, this is what Russia is trying to do <coughs> with uh, blocking our cargo ships from Mariupol and Berdyansk and it could be possible for the intensification. Uh, we have to impose the first ever in Ukraine martial law. Last question. Why now the war has been going on for five years? Why do you think it was necessary to implement this law now and not like one year ago, not four years ago, when we had other very serious um, standoffs between Ukraine and Russia-backed separatists? So we understand that they are a bit late with the adequate responses. And now I don't know why they are doing this nowadays. They say that like direct Russian attack with insignia, direct uh, than previously it was indirect, some green man, but this is uh, unfortunately uh, not true. Uh, we received guarantee from the president and now it is going, his, going to be his personal responsibility that he is not going to limit human rights as long as it's not, not going to be open aggression. So if it's not open aggression on particular territories, no limitation of human rights. All these things like mobilization, uh, citizens' rights, they will not be um, restricted, yes, will not be restricted um, unless there is open yes. aggression uh, from Russia. So does that mean that t tomorrow, uh, when it comes into force, nothing will actually change? Tomorrow, like uh, something is not going to change, but uh, cabinet of the ministers, they should pass special plan uh, for this term. Uh, so, in, in case if, uh, for example, uh, we will have some kind of open aggression, uh, they need to show up with particular steps, how they are going to mobilize people, to evacuate people, to, for example, to mobilize uh, special, uh, uh, special uh, military productions and other things, transportation, infrastructure. 
also it should be uh, some um, uh, important measures how to protect uh, crucial infrastructure so since tomorrow it is going to to be provided like additional security measures for uh, our um, critical infrastructure so just in these regions or everywhere uh, it should be in these regions and uh, the third one what is going to happen tomorrow uh, of course it is going to be uh, it, sh it should be uh, organized special uh, uh, military administrations in case if if it's going to be open aggression they will be ready to act and every year we have more and more um, I would say aggressive acts from Russia because international community didn't decide really about effective measures against uh, Russian Federation and their aggression in uh, on Ukrainian territories and because Minsk agreements it didn't have any effect which international community expected. That's why we need to find another more effective solution how to stop Russian aggression in Ukraine. Okay, but if for example these 30 days um, end and there has been like no um, ground attack from Russia, what happens like if they attack on the 31st day, like after this period? Okay, uh, according to the law, uh, Marshall Act uh, will uh, continue for the next 30 days and then it will like uh, expire and if there is any new threats of aggression then there, uh, there is a chance for the president to come to the parliament with a new act, with a new law to explain what kind of new threatens or maybe why this present threatens continued. Uh, and in this case, Parliament will decide if we really need to continue martial laws and we need to vote new law for the new period, or if uh, President won't show up in the Verkhovna Rada with a new law, it will mean that in 30 days this martial law will expire and on this uh, um, like on this stage it's it is full stop and as long as we are not going to have any new ag aggression or any new threaten we will continue in a previous uh, normal conditions